Mr. Glendover, hello? Yes, newbie. Your cigarettes. I got them. They were by the dumpsters. Good stuff, kiddo. And you're really gonna fix the elevator now? With duct tape? Well, you gotta work with what's available. I don't even ask them... I don't even ask them upstairs anymore. Management always promises they order new stuff, but nothing ever arrives. What? what? Uh... Maybe I'll give it a couple of good whacks. That usually helps too. Hopefully you'll get off my back when I'm done with it. No problemo. Thanks. I'm always surprised whenever anything works in this dom. Not promising anything, but I think we can use the elevator again now. Pure luxury. Enjoy it while you can. It could be over soon. And when that time comes... Try not to be in the elevator. Aye, aye. You are of great help, Finley. We can use people like you in this hospital. Glad I could help. I get going. You should start taking care of your patients. Dr. Krakowski, she'll give you your assignments for today's shift. Will do. See you later. There ain't no way around that. Wanna get yourself fired? Go talk to Dr. Krakowski. Oh, yeah, I will. Relax. Oh, are we upstairs already? Oh, we are. Cool. Hello, Dr. Cowface. I mean, Krakowski. There we are, Finley. The cow's face. <laughs> Oops. There we are, Finley. Where have you been handing this time? I was helping Carl carry the boxes of the storage room. They are pretty heavy. That's very kind of you, Finley. But let the nurses take care of that. You've done more than enough. I've assigned you three patients today. Look at your smartphone. My smartphone? We're testing digital patient records right now. You can download your patient information before your shift begins. Oh, okay, got it. Sweet. Nice. Schedule updated. There we go. Oh, we got the, the numbers. Take care of your business. Come see me as soon as you're done. Chop, chop. Here we go. What we have? 301? That guy is dead. Done. Easy. Okay, this guy is still alive. Hello, Mr. Kissinger. What's new? I'm asking you. I'm spending most of my days lying in bed lately, doing nothing, looking out the window. Did you know that today is the beginning of the meteorological fall? Hmm. 21st. Is that right? No, I didn't know that. We've never had so little rain in this summer as we've had this year. It's fine by me. know so much about meteorology. When I was young, I wanted to be a meteorologist. I know so little about it, and yet we are all so dependent on the weather. You can ruin our day, or make it perfect. Cheer us up, or make us sad. Burn our skin, or rain on our long planned picnic. It does what it does, and all we can do is play along. I'm sure you would have made a fine meteorologist. Why didn't you stick with it? I had intended to, but I had a few things to deal with it at the time. Besides, meteorologists are pretty unpopular, are they? When it rains, at least. <laughs> when, when, when you fail to predict that it rains, which I mean, in the UK, it's like, yeah, I see. Do you regret it? I ain't got no regrets. No, I'm very satisfied with my life. I enjoy my job a lot. I think things even turned out better this way. Imagine I had become a meteorologist and lost the fun of it. The weather would just annoy me now. I have lost my wonderful hobby too. Thanks for the nice chat, but we got to get productive now. Take a look at your rash. Does that hurt? Just lying around is already pretty painful, you know. No, it's not that bad, I promise. Oh boy. D O N. What are you doing with that? Uh thing. Better not cut that guy up. Three done completed. A B? Wow. Passing grade, I guess. Alright, that's it. What do you think? It's a pretty nasty case of shingle. You need to keep an eye on your rash and treat it regularly. Your circulation seems fine, though. Alright, your instruments are pretty cold. They always are, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it. 
one of the great mysteries of the universe. Fascinating. Have a lovely day. Metal is very conductive, so it heats up fast and it gets cold fast. So, yeah. You can heat them up. I don't think it's good to perform things with hot instruments, though. Hey there, sir. How are you, Mr. Amit? Oh, much, much better. The painkillers have got me flying high. Nice. I'm glad to hear it. Could I maybe have some more of them? <laughs> hey, opiate addiction, right from the first dose. Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then no. Oh, that's too bad. And how about under the table? Oh, my God. For later. Mr. Amit. All right. My family's physician is more relaxed about this, that kind of thing than you are. Oh, boy. Hey there, Mr. Uh, uh, hello. U.S. opioid crisis. What? A hundred thousand people died last year? Jeez, I can't, I can't imagine why. You won't need any more painkillers, I promise. I'll take extra special care with IR treatment. All right, I'll take your word for it. Oh boy, here we go. God damn, it's been like some of the weirdest combinations. Like you have to like. Hey, nice. All done. You see, didn't hurt at all, did it? I don't know. I will be gone after dinner. You're the doctor. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? All right. Have a good day too, sir. All right, one more patient. And we're done. P31. Good afternoon, Mr. Delwin. My name is Finley and I am your attending physician. Oh, doctor, my name is Cassia Delwin and I'm your patient today. Here's to a good working relationship. That's nice. I'll make a storybook patient, you'll see. Nausea, abdominal pain, muscle cramps, I got it all. No spoilers, Miss Delwin. Let me try to do my job well. Alright, let's get on with it then. Don't we have to know what's... Oh dear, diagnosis. Oh god. Find the correct symbol combination. A blue mark shows you that the right symbol is in the wrong position. A green mark, the right symbol is the correct position. Symbols will be highlighted green when they are in the correct co position. Not be in the correct combination more than one time. Find the correct combination within eight rounds. Oh dear. Combination contains symbol. Correct symbol in correct position. Mm, so it doesn't have any of these symbols. Oh god. Okay, so we have the right symbols. The first three are the right symbols, they are not in the correct position. Okay. Um Leg, and then um, this, I guess. All right, nice. We only have two left. 
it has to be um, this. We know it's this symbol, so it must be here. And then what's in here? Probably this? No? Oh. Uh, I guess it doesn't contain that symbol. Ah, oh, it could be the heart. Contains the symbol. Oh, we got it. Nice. It's a bit weird. I don't think I fully understood it. Ah, logic puzzles. Always get the better of me. What do you think? I have a suspicion. We'll have to do some more examinations. Someone will come by later to draw blood and tomorrow we'll know more. Alright, you are an excellent patient. I'll recommend you to the staff. Thank you. See you tomorrow then. I'll be here. Oh, and could you do me a favor? What can I do for you? There's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere. I'll gladly take two tonight. If I come across a blueberry pudding, it's all yours. Perfect. Nice. Lovely. Lovely fella. It's good to have patients like that. I imagine not all of them will be that friendly and helpful. Hold on, sir. Take care of all of your patients. Yep, yep. All taken care of. Hang on in there, Finley. Haven't been with us long, but I see potential in you. Don't underestimate this job. Don't underestimate your responsibility. Maybe then you'll make it here. Go home now. Working the late shift tomorrow. Then we'll see what you're made of. Have a nice evening. No response to that, huh? Well, okay then. Nice. 40 minutes. If it doesn't end soon, then we'll have to end it. Get out of here, kid. You're working the late shift tomorrow, aren't you? Yes, finally I get the chance to sleep in. Sleep in? Never heard of it. Is that youth slang? Have a nice thing, if evening, Ingrid. Suits me somehow. No matter how stressful the day gets, no matter what happens, the snacks sit here and glow gracefully. You need constants in your life. Hey, already thinking about going home? Ready for the end of the day and ready for bed? What? No, 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 no. Come down to Gilbert's with me and ha we'll have a drink together. One drink? One One will soon become five. Come on, don't be a party pooper. Alright, but let's take Mia with us. She's had a rough day. Go ask her. I'll wait here. we just seen Mia down here. She must be around here somewhere. Yeah, alright. Why is everyone looking at us like that? Jesus. Also, where would be the, the pudding be if the cafeteria is closed? I'd be going for lunch by now. Once we are still able to walk at least. Yikes. Is she outside? Project Nexus reference. What? I missed it. Where? Hey! Carl and I are heading over to Gilbert's for a drink. Wanna join us? Pretty pooped. Tough day. Then you've earned that cold drink even more. Hmm. Come on, it's on me. Okay, you tasted my arm, but I'll pay for my own tab. Deal! Yay! Nice. Said, ah, Gil, right. Telling you, a fresh tap beer like that puts my feet back on the ground, no matter how bad my day's been. You mean refuel, don't you? Refuel, too. Not much of a drinker, but today I'll make an exception. That was stressful, but I'm kinda in a good mood. While we're still sitting here, could you do me a favor, Finley? Sure. Future, please don't tell me the answers on rounds. And I can do it, and I want to do it on my own. Oh, okay, I just wanted to help. I know you can do it too. I promise I'll hold back next time. Thanks. Here's to that. To Finley's vows of silence. 
What's wrong? <laughs> Vow of silence. I think he's practicing already. <laughs> Has it always been like this in the hospital? What do you mean? Well, I've only been here there a few weeks. And I fall into bed every night completely wiped out. Even now I'm finding it hard to keep my eyes open. I feel the same way. You've been p there forever, Carl. How did you deal with the stress for so long? Well, I think at some point you get used to it. And you realize that this stress is normal. Maybe it gets easier to endure. It's not like you can be make a formal complaint about it. I learned that under Dr. Theobald. He wasn't even the chief of medicine back then. He always had a sympathetic ear for people. For his patients, anyway. Well, I'd like to have seen that. And our internal medicine department is upstairs on the fifth floor. Come to think of it, that was all quite a while ago. There's a word on six? There was. Structural defects. Roman Heydrich from accounting said that was the only option. Too bad. I always liked it up there. Right. And the work? Was it everything then like it is today? Well, not quite. We did have all this digital stuff. Doctors were always leaving their pens in rooms. Had a really big collection at home. Angry still fit into her normal office chair. But hey, that woman is awesome. Yeah, I like her too, kind of. Was it as crazily stressful as today? Huh? Hard to say. Like I said, it was quite a while ago. I remember I was always totally exhausted my first few months. That feeling went away at some point. I think it's like jogging. At some point you get past the point of exhaustion. And you just keep running. I hate running. I, ca I can kind of relate to that. I've been training for like a 10k run and... After a while you just... You just can't keep running if, even if you're tired. I like to go for a walk. Does that count? Possibly. It's not enough. Like, I've been walking for much more. And then when I come to running, I get tired immediately. Makes you by far the most athletic of us. Sad but true. No one has ever said that to me before. Don't even know how to feel. Gotta take a leak. You're running, you're ruining the moment here, you know that? Leave the kid alone. If you gotta go, you gotta go. But no dawdling. My glass won't feel itself. <laughs> Can't even go to the fucking bathroom with these guys. Jesus. Leave me alone, kid. You see I'm busy now? Ain't grumbling. Okay, okay. I see a dartboard, I get foggy flashbacks. I actually like playing darts, even though I rarely hit anything. I don't think I've ever won a match. But it's definitely better than foosball. I hate foosball. Why? Love records. I don't know why exactly. I barely ever listen to music, and when I do, it's digital, but these scratching and noises kind of remind me of my grandpa. It's cute. Come on. It's a big library. Most of these books are older than me. Maybe older than Giuliano, even. I need a sword in alphabetical order. Alternative music. Cash Doesn't Make You Happy by Sylvia Storm. Sure. Cloud Engineering, Volume 2 by Edwin Ernski. I wonder if Giuliano might be interested in that. It's probably been left behind by a customer. Stockman. Ice Cold Monsters by Mark Gardner. Creepy. Five Fingers on Each Hand by Ron Roberts. Hmm. Hold my beer. I'll definitely call you back. Ash and Fruit Plant. Hunter. Alright. Oh, well, bar doesn't smell like the artificial citrus scent. I mean, sure, nobody likes the smell of urine. You have to cover it up with something even more unpleasant. I like that smell. What? Artificial lemon. It makes me rich. However, hold it now and get through it. It's to your business and... Go on. Jesus. Complaining, complaining. It's not just the only bar, but also the only motel in town. It's not exactly a tourist hotspot. Honestly, I've never even seen a tourist in Procupine. I mean, that's why there's only one room. Yeah, probably can't... Want to need more than that. Cute puppies. Wrote a book on receipts himself. Looks pretty old. The pages are yellowed. 
quabbling. Fifty shades, oh my god. Want to see if it repeats. Yeah, alternative music, we got it. Anything over here? List of beverages hasn't been updated in a while. Light gooseberry bear, liver liqueur, warm dormouse, and the barzooka. Seven rounds of surprise. Sounds awesome. I want the barzooka. Newspaper article in the world. Barzooka hangs up his gloves. Boxing fans around the world have been in tears this weekend as one of the most famous boxers of recent decades renounced, announced his retirement. Seven years, the Barzuka hit his way into the hearts of the public and now he's leaving them bruised. Commented on his decision at board game convention. I've achieved everything in my career that I wanted to achieve. I have fought for love and peace. The rain in the snow and the burning sun. And it is time for me to face a longer and harder fight. So I am retiring. The exact reason for retirement were not mentioned. Just seven years, he com competed in over 518 fights. 515 defeats. Two victories by the non-appearance of his opponent. And one victory by knockout. And his opponent laughed so hard he couldn't continue fighting. Amazing. Lovely. One of the worst boxers in history. Who was, however, revered by his fans and his competitors for his humorous monologues. Wait a minute. The Barzooka? Hmm. Yeah, tell me, what is it? The barzooka? Is that a question? I know you are a boxer. What do you mean by that? I was one of the best. My enemies feared me, and the girls couldn't get enough of me. I'd love to see you fight. Or had I have to disappoint you? The barzooka retired many, many years ago. I've thrown in the towel, but this kitchen towel suits me too. Alright. There are anyone else I know? Edge came over tonight. Sure, my pleasure. It's a nice place to relax. As thanks to my interior design skills. Looking for restrooms? Just up the stairs. Already done. I don't think my beer was empty when I left. What? No. You drank up before you left, I'm sure. Ah, oh, jeez. Look behind you. A three headed grouch. Why are you staring at, Shorty? Next round is on you. Okay, fine. There you are. Oh, keep them coming. The evening's only just begun. Oh, boy. St. Ursula has, has become an old lady. An old lady with her pain peeling off. Frustrating. I always wanted to be a good doctor. I'm afraid the stress is too much for me. Now I'll make mistakes or I'll just lose the meaning of my work. But Looney, you save lives each and every day. Name one of one more, name me one thing that's more important. The main thing is to keep going, kid. Bah! What? I think the kid's right. You guys, and that dump of yours is falling apart. You can't get anything done over there. Shut your mouth, Ralph. Nah, 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 I'll tell you something. You come in here complaining about how hard your lives are. You should take a long, hard look at yourselves. Lazy, incompetent jerks that you are. Who the fuck asked you, guy? What? You can't even keep an indoor cactus alive and you talk about curing people of cancer? You couldn't save my wife either. And why? Because you all have nothing between your ears, that's why. Or up to me, I'd burn the entire place down. Right, he has... Emotional wounds. A doctor could fix that as well. A uh, head doctor. Sitting here for... No idea what time it is, and I'm still quicker with it than the two of you put together. Oh yeah? And what makes you think that, you old drunk? I'll prove it. Bombs! Bombs? Bombs! We're playing bombs. Now, loser plays the tab. Want to play so bad? Be my guest. Wait a moment. What's bombs? Haven't you been at the bar before? <laughs> Alright, listen up. In bombs, we take it in turns to count from left to right. One, two, three, four, and so on. You can count, can't you? I think I can manage that. Good. However, you're not allowed to say the number if there's three or seven in it. Or if the number is divisible by three or seven. Oh, no. In that case, you say bombs. 
in the direction where counting reverses. And if you count when it's not your turn, you lose two. Got it. Three or seven. God. That's an interesting game, though. We should do it. Not getting any younger. Go, I'll start. Four, five, bombs, bombs, eight, bombs, eleven, bombs, twelve, bombs, four. No, oh, that's ah, fuck, it was fourteen. A bunch of good for nothings. No wonder the people of Pokemon don't want to be treated by you. Go great. One more round, come on. Rematch. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, bombs. 13, 14, 15, like this. Oh, you got him. Now I see who's in charge here. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to have a big cold drink or 10. That was just luck, you cheeky Garn. What are you saying, Garn Gnome? Hey, wait, I'll give you a cotton swab. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. To attack Ralph as... He lunges to strike. We're gonna have a bar fight. Hold to block Ralph's attacks and charge your special attack. Jesus, okay. Perform your special attack. Three, two, one, fight! Get him! What the fuck? Oh god, we got demolished. Don't force me to bring me, me my gloves out of retirement. Let's call it a night. God damn it. Bad at fighting in real life and in games as well. Finley, good morning. Pina here. What are you up to, Mayday? What? Pina? Yes, are you driving through a tunnel or am I mumbling? Mumbling? What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Have you been infected by a deadly virus from the hospital? Do you have a disgusting rash on your belly? Show me. No, no, I'm fine. I was drinking at Gilbert's last night. You drink? I had no idea. Clearly not often enough. I'm working the late shift today so I can rest up. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do something. I already have an idea. Meet me at the marketplace. There's something I need you to... I need to see there. Give me 30 minutes. Don't keep me waiting. Looking forward to it. See ya. Oh dear. Well, the game is still going and... I don't know what to tell you guys, but I like it a lot, so... A great day. How nice. Thanks for hanging there, little note. Take a care of yourself. Um, I can't seem to... Ah, there you go. Quit the game. We'll quit it now, but yeah, I liked it a lot, so I might just grab the, the full game and play it. And uh, yeah, I'll have to end the um, episode over here because... Um, well, the episodes, uh, in any case, because I have other games to play. But uh, yeah, really cool. Definitely like this style of game. In any case, hope you all enjoyed watching. Make sure you have a like, subscribe to see more. And I'll see you next time we're going to make. It has stopped working. Bye-bye.